back to the second installment of Voices of Dunnett Landing, and I'll be your host for this week's episode. Last time you were here listening to Miss Todd when she was in town. This week we have... Oh, God, it's her? Really, guys? Really? Ugh. Is it because I'm new? Is that what this is? Ah! Today we'll be talking with Miss Susan Fosdick off the coast of Maine, and we'll learn the truth about who she is. Uh, hello, Miss Fosdick. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, goodness, it's so nice to meet you, too, dear. I feel so blessed to meet you and be here today. Oh, well, excellent. I've heard you have a very interesting story to share. Could you please tell me the story of poor Joanna? How Myra told me what happened to her. I was wondering all those years. She's always so happy to see me, Almyra. She had a lodger the last time I came round. A cordial young woman. I didn't catch a name. Um, Miss Fosdick. But the last I heard, that that lodger left the landing, and Elmira has been alone (sighs) ever since. Elmira must be longing for an excuse to talk about that young lady, reminisce on their time together, and I know that she knows that I can talk from dawn to dusk. Oh, yep, but, um, uh, what happened to Joanna? Oh, right, right. Like, when I came to hear about it, I couldn't believe it. I hadn't thought of her for a great, great while. Like, maybe before you were born. Like, oh, poor Joanna God. Todd. This all happened, like, long before you were born. She was a cousin of Myra's late husband, actually. Like, did you know that? Uh, did you? No. Okay, well, let me tell you what Myra told me. Well, Myra uh, told me that Joanna was going to marry in a month when the young man, like, she was engaged to. Her fiancé got bewitched with a girl way up the bay and married her instead. Can you even believe that? Last I heard, they ran off to Uh, Massachusetts. uh, uh, I happened to meet someone from Massachusetts once, and he told me that that man was in the trade and doing very well. Miss Fosdick. But that was years ago, way before you were born, dear. You're very young. (sighs) Are you just out of college or something? Like, you look very young. Miss you have Fosdick. very nice skin. Thank you. Miss Fosdick. What? Keep going. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, I'll go. So it seems like her only interest, his only interest, his only interest in her was her family's money. But she'd give him her shame. whole heart. And she wasn't so young as she had been, you know? She, like, she wasn't young like you were. And, like, all Thank her you. hopes were built on marrying and having a real home and cute babies and someone to look to. She... Just acted like a bird when its nest is spoiled. The day yeah. after she heard this news, she was in a dreadful woe. Oh, but the next day she came goodness. to herself and very quiet and took the horse and wagon, the family horse and wagon, mind you, and drove 14 miles to the lawyers and signed a paper giving her half of the farm to her brother. And then she took a poor old boat that had been her father's and loaded it in a few things. And all she put all alone with the good landers. Uh, I don't know how she did this. Um, right up to sea all by herself. Mm. She never stepped foot on the mainland again as long as she lived. Isn't mm. that so sad? And then Elmira, uh, like, uh, she told me that she was very fond. Like, poor Joanna there. She, wh- my, uh, Joanna was very uh, fond of working uh, in her garden. And that she tilled the little field she had on that little abandoned island right there. And, like, she raised a nice parcel of potatoes. Uh, of course, she could fish, and there were all her clams uh, and lobsters. Well, 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 that's really great, Miss Fosdick. Um, great you. story, great story. I could tell you more. Long story. Nope, that's okay. Um, oh. After the short break, we are going to come back. And I know, I know myself and the rest of our listeners are hoping you won't clam up because we are itching to hear more about your friendship with Mrs. Todd. Speaking of clams, we'll be back after a short message from our sponsor. Are you hungry and love seafood? Then you should give our clams a try. We always have a large and steady supply of clams at the ready and we never run out. All freshly taken from off our coast and served however you'd like. They're so popular, even the whole state of Maine wants in on what we have to offer. You haven't had real clams until you've tried what we have to offer and done it landing. Wowee, I don't know about you, but I'm super hungry after hearing about the great clams Maine has to offer. But, welcome back if you are just joining us. We are here in the studio with Miss Fosdick from off the coast of Maine for the second installment of Voices of Dunnett Landing. Glad to be here. Now, before the break, you had mentioned Miss Todd, uh, quite a lot, I might add, before I got to ask this question, but, um, could you tell me more about your friendship with Mrs. Todd? My old acquaintanceship with Almyra. 
I met the Blackett family. That's her like original family before she got married. I sure. met I met the back Blackett family when I was young, visiting Dunn Atlantic. I practically lived in Dunn Atlantic over the summer, and Elmira was a bit older than me, just a bit. I introduced myself at a picnic. It was such a lovely summer day. Mm-hmm. Everyone in Dunn Atlantic was there except William. He must have been hiding okay. behind the old oak tree in the park. He was always shy around women. But whenever I made a point to visit this village, Dun Atlantic, Dun it, yeah, Dun, Dun Atlantic, I tried to visit everyone I know. And El Mary just loves to talk and talk well, and talk. Well, alrighty, and... that is some riveting info. You uh-huh. seem to have a lot of fond memories of her in Maine. So, um, I'm just wondering, uh-huh. what are your thoughts on Maine? Oh, well, I always loved living here and growing up here. I grew up near Dunnett Landing, as you know. Mm-hmm. And whenever I went away, I always wanted to come back. Sure, yeah. I had a whaling voyage when I was a young lady. It was strange returning behind the times. It's true, but it was exciting. And exci- I liked the variety. There, how times have changed, you know? Like, but you wouldn't know that. Like, there's so few seafaring families left. Mm-hmm. And, like... I would say there's a push and pull to this place, like the tide themselves. I just want to be here, but I get swept up in the currents, and then I get brought back to the beach. You know, you've made some points, Miss Fosdick, Thank and you. Maine is sure is a beautiful place to be. Beautiful, uh, most beautiful place in the whole world. Absolutely, and I, you know, I'm not from Nothing here. Nothing can change my mind on that. Oh, you're not from I'm here. I'm not from here, but I really Where like to be here. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from way up north, a little more. Really? Oh, Where, you're like yes. Close to like being landlocked. And- yeah. Yep, abs- being near Canada and- absolutely. But you know, Maine sure is a beautiful place to be, and this is timely. You mentioned this because I have a cousin our, up north. you know our next sponsor wants you everyone to know that you can experience this beauty yourself. Can we cut to the ad? The ad. Do you need a vacation? Are you looking for a quiet getaway? Then you should take your vacation in Dunnett Landing. Experience the scenic nature of Maine with hikes and camping. Relax on the coast near the beautiful serene ocean. You can't get much closer to the magic of nature and relaxation than with Dunnett Landing. We know that you deserve a good and relaxing trip, and while we may not have much, we're open to you and want to offer you an experience you'll never forget. What do you What do you mean we're gonna hit time? What do I have to cut? What? We, they, it, we're running out of time already. We're, go, we're going over time. I didn't know she was gonna talk this long. This wasn't my fault. Yeah, but. Manager, and we're on air. Uh, uh, well, uh, unfortunately, Miss Fosdick, we've run out of time. Sorry what? to all of our other Already? viewers listening. Yes, so we That's won't be able to shame. hear any more of your long, I mean, lovely stories. Thank lovely you. stories. You're such a great storyteller. Thank but um, you. that is all the time we have for today. I hope I can come back someday. Oh, someday. Someday. Yep. Thank you, Miss Fosdick, for coming in and sharing your experiences with us. Of and course. thank you all for listening to us and coming on for the next installment of Voices of Dunnett Landing. And if you've enjoyed this episode, you can come back for the next installment when we hear from Mrs. Blackett. And back to you at the studio. Mrs. Blackett is here. She's oh, come God. all the way from Green Island. I haven't been there for so long. Like, C- last time I was cut, there, there was cut. a wedding. We... A cousin of mine, Sarah Cunningham. Anything. She can was wed to a lobsterman, James J. Arnold. I thought he was a good man, J.J. at the time. <laughs>